Now, the Pakistani Taliban has named Mullah Fazlullah as its new leader. He led a violent campaign in the Swat Valley between 2007 and 2009. He's also believed to have planned the attack on schoolgirl Malala Yousafzai. The group's former leader, Hakimullah Masood, was killed in a U.S. drone strike last week. Well, Imtiaz Tayyab is in Abbottabad. And uh, Imtiaz, uh, tell us more about this man. He is uh, pretty notorious and a hardliner. You're right. The Pakistani Taliban didn't just elect a new leader. They elected the most hardline leader that was in the running for this top job. This man is, as we've been pointing out, uh, is responsible for the 2007 to 2009 offensive in Swat Valley, where the Pakistani Taliban, led by him, clashed bitterly with the Pakistani army. Thousands of civilians were killed. His men were responsible for many of those deaths and to give you a sense of just how brutal a campaign it was they would behead people and put their heads in city squares and the like this is a man who is frankly known for his bloodlust and many people here are frankly looking at this selection by the Taliban as a sign that this is a group which is frankly not interested in any kind of peace talks in fact it's already said that it's not going to have any peace talks and that frankly Mullah Fuzlula is somebody who is going to wait this campaign that we've seen in the past from the Taliban of violence. So uh, a very, very interesting development here in Pakistan and one of great concern of the Pakistani authority. Indeed, and it, uh, the, the choice of, uh, of, of this hardline leader who's already said he doesn't want to uh, have any kind of negotiation seems to have uh, borne out the Pakistani government's uh, warning that the killing of Hakim al Masood would just completely end any kind of peace talks. You're right, and, and the Pakistani government was clearly right. There was some hope. Immediately after Kimala was killed, another man who was named as the potential leader, a man by the name of Khan Syed, many Taliban commanders said he was the one to lead the, the, uh, the Pakistani Taliban. He was a Masood, much like his predecessor, a, a tribe here in the country, and they thought he would be a good fit because he could possibly be interested in engaging in these peace talks. But what we understand is there's been an awful lot of infighting within the group. Khan Syed was effectively pushed to the side and Fazlullah, a man again as we've been saying who has such a notorious background, has been pushed forward as the leader and this has effectively put an end to any kind of peace talks for the Pakistani government and there's certainly a lot of people in Islamabad who are very concerned by this appointment.